Tangent Radius Property, Practice Number 6. What is the length of the radius? The radius is the point from the center of the circle to any point touching the circle. So point O to point S will be our radius. Point S to point G will be our tangent. SG is tangent to the circle, with point S being the point of tangency. And when a radius touches a tangent line at the point of tangency, the angle will always be 90 degrees. Since we have a 90 degree angle in our triangle, this is considered a right angle triangle, and if we know two of the three sides, we can solve for the third side using Pythagorean theorem, which is a squared plus b squared equals c squared. Our c will always be the line opposite of the right angle, so in this case, our C will be 12 centimeters. We'll call our unknown side A. So A squared plus 9 squared equals 12 squared. 9 squared will be 81, and 12 squared will be 144. To remove the 81 from this side, we'll have to subtract 81. If we subtract 81 from that side, we have to subtract 81 from the other side as well. The plus 81 and minus 81 will cancel each other out, leaving us with a squared. And 144 minus 81 will give us 63. To isolate the a, we'll do the opposite of squaring a, which is taking the square root of a squared. To take the square root of this side, we have to take the square root of 63 as well. The square root and squared of a will cancel, leaving us with a. And now we'll find the square root of 63. Remember, we have to give the answer to the nearest hundredth. So the square root of 63 to the nearest hundredth will be 7.94. So a is equal to 7.94 centimeters. And therefore, the length of the radius will be 7.94 centimeters.